I think it's time that some storage actually gets sorted in this world because it's not very good that everything is just, you know, everywhere. So that's my plan this time around. Anyway though, welcome back to Minecraft. It's been, I think, another month since the last time I played it. Like I did last time, I shall mine all of these up. Okay, okay, who is over here trampling my crops? Man, nobody has respect for farming. Oh hey, there's a squid over there. Are you going to beat yourself like all of the rest of the squids in this world? No? Well, you probably should because I'm going to kill you before you get the chance to. Also, I'm not going to fix that. It can stay like that. I also need to keep killing my cows so I can actually have item frames to put on the chests. I don't think I have any, um, leather presently, do I? No, it doesn't look- oh, I do, I have five. That's definitely not enough for labeling chests, but I can start labeling chests, but I also first actually need to make the storage room. Did I really just see another squid beach itself? <sighs> Why do the squids do that? I just don't understand it. I have never had another world in my entire time playing Minecraft where the squirrels have been this suicidal. Maybe they know I have stopped caring about playing games correctly, so I will just massacre them anyway so they're doing it themselves. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know if this is going to be big enough, but it'll- it'll- it's a start. It'll get the job done for now, so at least I can start organizing my stuff. Because there has been no organization with my items this entire time so far. I'm like a lawnmower with these shears. The leaves do not stand a chance against me and my shears. Did another squid kill itself? There's just ink sacs floating in the water. I'm going to assume yet another squid beached itself and it died. Why do the squids keep doing that? It's just annoying. I would like to kill them. It's not fun if they're killing themselves. Are you serious? Another another squid's doing it in the background there. There was a squid over here that did it, and now that one just did it. And that one's probably going to go ahead and beach itself as well. I do not understand why you squids keep doing that. I mean, I guess it's good for me because I'm going to have a lot of black ink if I ever want to use it. I can make a beautiful kitchen floor sometime with it. Okay, the torch chest has worked out very nicely, and I can fit chests in here. And it won't look weird until I decide to expand the room some more. But that also means I'm going to have to destroy all of these chests again and place everything in it. Damn it, why didn't I do this last time? I do not make good decisions when I play this game. And the storage room is relatively complete. I'm definitely going to have to extend it at some point in the future, but this will get the job done for now. So now it's time to yet again move everything from these chests into chests in there. Oh, why didn't I do this last episode just to get it done and over with so I didn't have to this time? I need more item frames, so it looks like some more cow massacre has to happen. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. I need item frames for my chests. 24, that... that should be good enough for now. But don't worry, I will be back for more leather when I need it. Oh 
only eggs can sustain me. How did you get in here? Can I have you as a pet? Where's my fish? I think I just seen a bunch of fish in one of these chests. Or not, so it looks like I have to go get the fish out of here. Hold on, cat. I, I actually kind of want you as a pet. I don't know what I'll name you, because I still haven't named Charles as a girlfriend, but that doesn't matter. I'll at some point come up with a name for you. Yes, come here. Take my salmon! Yes, you love me now. I definitely should have either did this last episode or did it in between episodes. I've been recording for 32 minutes and this is all I have been doing so far. Okay, that took 40 minutes of raw footage just to get the storage room done. But here it is, as of now. It'll definitely need to be extended at some point in the future, I'm sure. But for now, it'll get the job done. I still have chests to label, but that'll work for now. I'm down here in the mines because I want to try to get level 30 and see if I could get a fortune pickaxe. I could have had one by now, but I have died so many times. So I've had to constantly build my levels back up, but then I always die. And it seems like it always happens when I go into the nether. That's why I'm avoiding the nether until I have at least a uh, fortune pickaxe. Even if it's like fortune one, I'd be mildly happy with that. Even if I don't get fortune out of a level 30 enchantment, if I get at least like efficiency three or something, I'd be at least happy with that because it would make mining a hundred times quicker than it is now. I probably should have taken a risk and just went to the nether and tried to get 30 levels. It would have gone by way quicker, but I am terrified of going in there. For all I know, I could die within two seconds and lose all of my items. But more importantly, the experience, because I, would not, I wouldn't even get half of the experience I have right now back. Out of this, I'd probably end up with like seven, maybe eight levels after dying and picking up my experience again. So yeah, I, I just, I don't want to go in there until I have at least an enchanted pickaxe that took 30 levels. But after I do that, I probably won't take the level 30 pick in there because if the nether has taught me anything so far, I'm going to die and lose all of my items. And I really would not want to enchant a pickaxe with 30 levels and immediately lose it to lava or something that would suck so much. If that happened, I think the series would be over. I would just, I'd give up. What the hell? Um, <laughs> I am way down at level 11 and I hear rain. Okay then, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm underground, but yet I can hear rain. Okay, okay, Minecraft, totally makes sense. I really need to use that mob spawner that I found last time for an XP grinder. Like, I just, I need to do that sometime. Maybe that's what I'll do next episode. I'll turn it into an XP grinder. What the hell? Why do I see rain? What the, but, oh my God, this game makes no sense. How am I seeing rain underneath the ground? I am so far down, just how? Hey, I hit level 30. 
good. I'm going to get out of here before somehow I drowned. I wouldn't put it past the game to just randomly start drowning me for no reason. I have no idea how I could hear and see the rain down underground. That makes no sense. Okay, let's go ahead and actually I don't want to use this pick because it's nearly broken so let me go ahead and make a new one really quickly and then i shall see what it will give me for an unbreaking three enchantment at the bare minimum i will have at least unbreaking but will it give me efficiency and fortune or just efficient efficiency or just fortune let's find out Oh, good. It's actually not that bad. I, I, I'm i perfectly fine with that. It will- this- this pick will make mining so much faster. Ah, uh, finally. Also, finally, I get the enchantment- or the achievement for the enchanter. And let's see if we take a look up over here. I have been playing on this world for 46 days. And I finally enchanted something. That should tell you how much luck I have had in this world. I'm back here in the nether. I just realized, seeing those, I just realized I forgot to put on gold armor, but that's fine. I'm only here to hopefully find another fortress. I set out to do that, I think, the last episode before the episode I just uploaded. As in, it's been, I think, two episodes since the last time I tried to find one. And it didn't happen. I never found one. So I'm here with my efficiency 2 pickaxe, and I'm just going to mine in a straight line somewhere, and hopefully I'll find one. Oh, damn. I found one immediately. Really? It was just- Okay, this is all I have dug through so far. I just went through this wall that was right next to my nether portal. That ghast is doing some sick 360s. But I explored- I think I went over that way- Uh-oh, I'm going back over here. But I think I went that way the last time I was in here. Or I might have gone up that way. And that was about for like an hour straight. And I didn't find another fortress. And within a few seconds of being in here, I find one immediately. Oh my god, I hate this game. There's a reason I don't play this game very often on the channel anymore. I'm going to be real right now. I can't wait to beat the Ender Dragon just so I don't have to play this game anymore. I'm very persistent. Since I started this series, I want to beat it. I don't want to just cancel this game only because I'm not enjoying it. I just, I just refuse to up and cancel- Jesus. How do you see me from over there, sir? But I refuse to just up and cancel this game just because I'm not having as much fun with it anymore. How the fuck did you do that? That made no sense. I have no idea how he did that, but that was a sick trick shot. So I'm just going to try my best every episode to get closer to the Ender Dragon, so that way we can beat the Ender Dragon and then I don't have to play this game anymore. Skeletons and blazes have aimbot in Minecraft now, I swear. See? Look at that. There's no way he hit me, but somehow he did. The blazes and skeletons have aimbot, I swear. Oh, I think I see which one was hitting me. It was that one. How? I'm behind a block! Excuse me, sir. There is no way you got me. Hi. Would you like an arrow in your face? Hey, get back here. Uh-oh, there's, there's a there's a blaze right there. Nope. How's it going, blaze? Would you like to get off of my bridge? Thank you. Oh, hell yeah. He gave me a blaze rod. How nice of him. Is it safe to come in here? Damn it, there's another blaze up there. All right, come on, blaze. 1v1. Damn it, he's got a friend. I just seen him down that hallway. All right, now it's a 1v1. Oh, there's a pig man. I don't want to hit the pig man. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Just what I want to deal with. Please, don't hit me. Thank you. All right, come here, Blaze. Got him. There's another one. How many Blazes are in this place? I'm not even near a spawner. There's just hundreds of them in this place. Oh my god, there's more diamonds. Hell yeah. I see. They were guarding the diamonds. That explains it. Oh my god, there's three wither skeletons. That's not good. That's not good. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. God damn it, you hit me. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? I just lost 27 levels and then somehow a fucking creeper spawned in my house. Oh my god, I hate Minecraft. I really do. This game sucks. I wish that it, it was actually a good game, but it's not. God damn it. Now I gotta go get all of my stuff again. Regain all of my levels. Oh, uh, why did I torture myself and decide to record this game? I could have recorded anything else. But I decided to record Minecraft tonight. I could have recorded anything. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone. 
I need to go get my stuff from getting absolutely obliterated by these damn wither skeletons. I feel like at some point they updated the nether to just be unfairly difficult. And I'm not sure why, because there's no reason for it to be this difficult. Nope, I'm not dealing with you guys. Just stay out there, please. Oh my god. There was like four blazes down here. Oh, that's not good. But... I think I have- yes, I found a blaze spawner. That's kind of all I wanted to do. I have needed one for a very long time, and I finally found one. I just need to learn how to make a blaze farm, because I have no idea how to. So, in between this episode and next episode, I'm going to have to do some research on how to turn this into a farm. Okay, that's perfect. I think I have- enough ender pearls to get to the end fortress and actually light the portal i need i think like i want to say five more blaze rods maybe six more blaze rods to be able to make all of the ender eyes that i'll need but that is going to have to be saved for the next episode so with that said i hope you enjoyed this episode even though this wasn't the greatest episode that i have made in a very long time also another thing whoops didn't mean to do that but i just thought of something else i need to do really quickly i am not having another creeper spawn in my house somehow i just refuse to let that happen there we go. Try to spawn another creeper again, Minecraft. I dare you. But this definitely has not been the best episode that I have done in a very long time of any game I have played. But with that said, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.